<laughs> hey, subscribers. All right, so you're here for the ex ex expection video for my Gidemia Heroes Rising. As for what I know, hang on, folks. Let me get MC here first. Hey, bud. We're here. The fans are here already. You need to wake up. <laughs> do, 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 do. I, I hate to do this to him, but... MC! Yeah! Oh! What was that for? You scared me after that. Well, how come the camera is going then? Huh? Oh! <laughs> uh, hi, guys. You totally didn't see that, did you? <laughs> uh, anyways, you'll probably, uh, you'll probably hear for the speculation video, video, just like me and Ethan p mentioned in our previous spoiler-free review. Yep. Uh, if you haven't seen that one, or review for the Sonic movie, be sure to click on the card above Mr. Ethan's head there, <laughs> and you guys can go check it out. Uh, but just a warning, this one will have total spoilers for the ending, not the whole movie, the ending of My Hero Academia Heroes Rising. So if you do not want to be spoiled, I would click out, watch the movie, then come back here. And do not worry, the title will show you, the video title will show you spoil warning. Don't worry. Yeah, so just a head up, uh, up. If you have not, not, if you have not seen the movie, movie, well this is, yeah, pretty much a final warning here to click out of here. Yeah, if you have seen the movie, all right, then we're ready to go. Go, but I'll give you guys five seconds to click away. All right, five, four, three, two, one. All right, time's up. Doors are closed. Closed. We're gonna get going here. Okay, buddy. So, why don't you talk about the ending so people can get sense of this? Okay, so... How do we start this? Okay, so during the fight when... <sighs> okay, but... Let's get to that first part first. It is during the close to the end of the movie. Because it is part of our ex expectation. Don't worry. So, let's say... Let's say... When Bakugo and Deku were fighting against this... The greatest threat in the island name Nine. Nine, he has an ability, his quirk, he has an ability to can actually copy to nine quirks. Nine quirks. But it's like awful awful one. But he can do better than that, hate to say. That's what I noticed with the villains and all. But uh with this one though, reason why I say so first because it is gonna be part of our sex so do not worry so let's say guess what guys let's say what happened at the end of the movie close to the end of the movie guess what Deku did take a guess what did he A uh, die B pass, pass one for all onto Bafago kinda like all my did for Deku or C C this is funny they kiss <laughs> <laughs> that means G A Y. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so which one? One you gonna guess? I'll give you five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Time's up. If you guessed B, you are correct. If you guessed A or C, those were supposed to be jokes. Yes! <laughs> don't take us seriously, guys! <laughs> uh, unless, of course, you don't know the anime, then okay. Uh, but seriously, seriously, yes, Deku passed on one for all to Bakugo. Bakugo, like Kaichan Bakugo. So, originally, Bakugo has exploding, explosion quirk, but guess what? Deku decided himself. He has a reason to decide to pass on to Bakugo. All for one for all quirk. He gave it to Bakugo. Because we have a way to defeat Nine. That's the only way to beat Nine. 
is what I understand in the ending when Deku said so. So, so as for Baigo, he has the same kind of hairstyle kind of like Deku has when he goes to 100% full cowing, like power vintage. You know, like if you guys saw, saw season four, that's part of it, as you notice, when Deku goes to face against overall in season four. That's kind of like, like that, but Baigo go like that too. So, just to tell you that. And even though what I saw he uses his attack, it's a combination of his explosion and Deku's Detroit Smash at the same time. Exactly. Now, uh, Detroit Smash... And now, as you guys know, no, oh, at the ending, uh, Deku told All Might, Might that he passed the one for all to Bafago. But... It turns out that might uh, that wasn't the case, as his arms still lit up after Deku passed out. I think for what we can understand, though, it's because, uh, my guess is, it's because that transferred all for one, no, no, one for all to Baigyo, the transfer wasn't complete. So that's why he, he it didn't work, and how he gets it still. And lab, and then he said himself that this could be his last being a hero because, because think about it. If you guys watch season three or season two, I forget which where, because I remember that one part when the nurse told Deku that that if he keeps using more power fist all the time with his more power than he can do, then his arm will be broken like in permanently. So that's probably what that's why he said this could be it. This will be my last during the fight against nine. But turns out he was actually all healed up. And still okay. And so, and that whole and then one for all and one for all still works with him. <laughs> and I was confused at the end because of it. Yeah. For those who didn't see who saw the review, Ethan mentioned that this was the reason why he didn't give it a full perfect rating like the two heroes movie movie. Which still had a problem, mind you, because of the villain. And not only that, honestly in general, my opinion, weren't for this, this movie is actually better than two heroes. Actually still is my opinion. Exactly. But unfortunately that was the case, so sadly it doesn't get a higher rating. Yeah, even though I did say it's better than two heroes, I know it sounds crazy. Well, how we how we put it? Confusing and crazy. Yes, but it's true. It's just the way we work. Uh, but anyways, wait, wait. This is the uh, this is why Ethan and I are both confused, confused, and we have led to speculation that that so called called last season season isn't true. Or you could say final movie. He might have meant to say final movie. Or somebody else said it's final season. <sighs> this is why you don't trust internet sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> or even the words of creators. Okay. <laughs> so for those who don't know know what we're talking about, about the creator of My Hero Academia himself I don't know his name, but um, um, he did say that this was going to be the last movie that My Hero Academia was going to receive. Yup. So, and some people say that this could be the last season too. I hate to say it, but hold your horses, guys. This is my theory. So listen carefully. Yeah. So my expectations, not expectations, theory my theory, this could be false, but this is just my theory. This could end up being like, like what happened with Naruto. Think about it. You see Rachel Naruto, and then just gets to Shuprin. So, this could happen the same thing. You never know. Yeah. Yeah, but we don't know for sure. For all we know, the creator could be right. But he could have been learning through his teeth, saying this is the last time we'll see Deku in his kid form. And maybe he'll be all grown up, just like Naruto was. Or even like, like All Might. <laughs> so, this is just, this is just my theory, though. And, let's just say, though, 
that the at this whole thing. I love the movie, don't get me wrong, but still though. <sighs> hate to say it, Rose Crane, the story, whatever. Make it sense next time. <laughs> and plus, I get guess I can see why the manga readers were worried about this. Uh yeah, me too. Too. But honestly, I don't think that good story is over. And honestly, personally, this is just my opinion against the manga readers. I'm not I'm technically not, you know, too worried like they are, unfortunately, because to be fair, I'm more of an anime watcher than a manga reader, so hate to say guys, but don't fight me for that. Yeah. So yeah. That's uh, that's my, uh, what we think. We could get begin a Naruto Shippen style, I own My Hero Academia sequel anime series series. Now, what do we think it's gonna be like? Well, obviously, it's gonna take place after Deku Deku graduates. Uh, U A U A Academy U A Academy. Uh, but my question is, will he be married? Ooh. 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 If so, then the closest character I can see will happen is Obeku Ruka. That's as close as character I can see. Now, for those who haven't watched Pluto, hold your tomatoes, Naruto fans, please. Uh, for those who don't know, no, no, there, uh, one of the characters, I forgot her name, Hinata. Thank you. Hinata had a crush on Naruto and Naruto Shippen and ended up marrying Naruto and Baruto. Actually, she did have a crush on him on the original Naruto 2. Oh, thank you, Ethan. This is why he's the anime fan of the group, too. Uh, uh, well, anyways, so they ended up getting married, as probably a lot of people speculated. Uh, and, well, yeah. I can definitely see the same thing happening here. Because those two seem very close. Although, yep. although I haven't watched the anime, so don't quote me on that. Well, this is why I'm giving you the expect speculation with you guys. Yeah. So, my guess is this takes place either after UA High or in the final glad year, whether dating or married. Married if it takes place way after UA High. Think about it. Think about it, guys. During Season 4, I think it was during Season 4. Three or four? I think it's three. I think it's close three. So think about it. If you guys see the clip or a video, check it out. You'll see what we're talking about. Bakuruka looked like she had a crush on Deku. So this is the part of our evidence. What we, why we think that? Exactly. Exactly. Oh, man, I wish we had. I wish we could show the sad clip on here, but. Yeah, I'm more than positive Q animation would take us down. Yeah, so, well, we could just put down, like, a clip, uh, so, like, link to the bottom of this video, so you guys know what we're talking about. And if we have to, we'll link the full episode as well, so you guys, guys can see the context, too. Uh, but that is one of our evidence, evidence. Now, as for the rest of the characters, uh. you got me. Yeah, I me. Mean, that's the only thing I can really see see for on. Right. But what I can see Deku doing is he's a full fledged hero now, and he could be the next successor right next to All Might. You know, like the family, not the family successors of One for All before All Might. Exactly. So, I guess say is this is just my theory, but. I can end up being wrong, or end up being right. So, this is just my best theory thinking right now. Yeah, this is our best theory. So, if you guys have any uh, uh, any other speculation with us, or if you th think something else is going to happen with my the My Hero Academia franchise, let us know in the comments below. And some people, or even some people, well not some people. Actually, yeah, yeah, I can say that. Some people from manga readers think that Deku will get his second mysterious quirk. Yeah, you heard him. Okay, a little spoily. Uh, <laughs> uh, in the middle of the movie, when Nine tries to take Deku's all for one, one, 
he mentioned something about Deku having multiple quirks. So, this brings up the theory, was Deku not really quirkless? And some people say he's quirkless? Well, was quirkless. Oh, yeah, yes, yes. Uh, was it just really hidden all this time? Yep. As for what, as for what the manga readers say, in the movie too, actually. In the movie, it did say about it too, if you guys paid attention to it. So, hmm, I wonder what that second quirk could be. Ooh. Well, I'm trying to make sure I'm correct or wrong, but, well, as for what I could tell when he lights up in his body, he's still okay. There's a one for all still okay to me. So, but Baggy Girl, though, is... Transfer probably went incomplete. Incomplete. But then that brings up the question. How is he able to do all those fancy moves? Or even those explosion quirks. Because, no offense, but this is my opinion. Sorry, Baggy Girl fans, but this is just my opinion. He's better off having an explosion quirk than a one for all. No offense, but I don't mind it for this movie. But in general, I think he's better better with explosion quirk. In my opinion. Hey, I didn't say it. He said it. <laughs> don't yell at me. Uh, but yeah. So that's our speculation. We think that we're gonna be getting a Naruto shipping style video. If you guys have any evidence against our theory, let us know. No, we really want to see see if that. Uh, uh, see, see if that's correct. If we, if this really is the last movie from My Academia, then that was a very short, short movie franchise. Uh, probably the shortest of all the Sun Jump movies. Polly, 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 it's not probably the shortest of all. I would say maybe one of the shortest. But the thing is, though, if that's the case, I'll be like, no, no. Poor Ethan. Let's I, a... I enjoyed it too. But Ethan doesn't need cliffhanger. Please don't, for my sake. Yeah. I think let the manga keep going because so the anime can still keep going. Yeah. Uh, what, one of Ethan's favorite animes, Love is War. We probably was going to get a second season. Surprise, surprise. We got a second season. Yes. So, if, it, if it's really popular enough to keep it going... I'm pretty sure it's going to be this theory. But whether we'll spot on, on with it or not, we will see. I hope so. Oh, there is still one thing that we can possibly connect to this. The upcoming My Hero Academia, uh, My Heroes Want Justice video game that's releasing two weeks from now. Or this could be part of like just what happened with N Naruto, Shippuden... Ultimate Ninja Storm 4 DLC, like Road to Boruto, they could probably do the DLC like that just with a movie. But honestly, my theory, I doubt it. Mine too. too. My hunch is, though, that there could be a cliffhanger inside the video game that we don't know of. No, because if they're basing it off of the season 4, then more than likely, likely that it's going to contain the whole season. Yep. So even episodes that haven't aired in uh uh haven't aired yet could possibly be in that video game unless Foundation has it perfectly timed to end exactly after the release of the new uh My Hero Heroes uh One Justice Just Justice mo uh, uh video game. Mm -hmm. Not only that, guys, the anime is still going. By the way, it's still going. How long we don't know. But that is just another theory of mine that the uh, uh, one of the last hints, possible hints, could be inside that video game. Now that, me and Musicals thought that we could get another season, but just with my own theory. Yep. So, there's two theories. One, the movie could be hinting to a Naruto shipping st style anime. Or, and if the movie, and if they deny that, then the only way we can see definitive proof that that's not going to happen 
happen happen is with the two uh, my heels want justice video uh, uh justice two video game. Yup, that's for sure, folks. Uh, if we don't see anything in that, that then they do mean mean to say us. This is literally the last time we'll see Deku. And for me, I'll be like, no. Mmm, I was enjoying it too. Uh, in case you can't tell, Ethan hates cliffhangers. Yes. Yes. <laughs> if this is true, I'll be like, I don't think I'll put like a, put like a, how we put it? Half rent, half sadness video for it. Uh, later, for later. Uh, that's not going to be funny. <laughs> Just saying, saying, Ethan's pretty passionate about his anime. Alright, that's all for this speculation video. Let us know if you have any evidence against us or with us. Let us know. Know in the comments below. And please be nicely about it. Yes, please be nice. I can't tolerate, uh, tolerate haters. Even if you have a pretty good feeling, be respectful about it. We'll respect, be respectful, but if you're going to yell at us... La 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 la, I can't hear you. Cheer la 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 la. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, but that's all for now. Yep. So, again, if you want to see a spoiler-free, free, uh, My Academia Heroes Rising review, please click on, on it above my best friend here, yeah, so you guys can check it out. Or if you haven't seen our Sonic movie review, which, oh, come on! Seriously? You haven't seen it yet? Bah! Again, click on the card right above my best friend. For more, uh, to see more movie reviews. Now, coming up after this recording later will be our culture capture, where me and Ethan are going to be reviewing everything that happened in terms of anime, video, uh, movies, and video games. And this is going to be along with this. This movie is going to be along with it, by the way. Yeah, but we're only going to be briefly going over, over it, over it with the Sonic movie because, well. We did more in depth with these two videos. Exactly. So just a heads up, up. And March is gonna be a bit packed for us. <laughs> oh, games in general. Oh yes. Oh yes, 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 yes. I cannot wait for March's cop. Not only that, more movies coming too. Oh man. Oh. I'm not gonna look forward to what people are gonna think. This could end up being conversational, conversational movie I ever seen. Probably worse than the rest. Even, I dare say, the Emoji Movie. Well, or it could be it end up being surprisingly kind of like Sonic Movie. We'll have to wait and see on that. <laughs> yep. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Uh, I will say, though, right, no uh, right now, we're also in the culture capture, just like last time. We have the results of the uh, anime showdown in One Piece Fat. And who won? And the winner... You pretend you. Uh, and the winner is... Hmm? Oh! Well, let's say... Let's say... You didn't see anything. <laughs> yeah. I mean, maybe, no, 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 no. You didn't hear anything. At all. At all. At all. <laughs> how, about, how about, let's say... Let's say, it's a draw. Yeah. <laughs> just to, just to, just to put it at you guys. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Teaser, teaser, teaser. It's a draw, it's a draw, it's a draw. Uh, but all <laughs> is, is, uh, let us know also in the comments below. Who do you think won? Was it yours truly, Music Clues, who outproves Mr. Anime Fan over here? Or did Ethan show how strong he is with anime and prove this slack along? Uh, personally, vote for Team Music Clues. Vote for Ethan Ann. Uh, whatever you say, Weebo Ann. Maybe, maybe we can look at the wall instead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways, this is yours truly, DJ Music Clues. Ethan Ann, signing out. And we're going to do it again this time. If we're we're going to finish it with a Mayoki Demon theme. This will be for last time. Uh, go beyond! Go beyond! Plus, Plus Ultra! Ultra! See ya. See ya.